Hello, my name is Rulaya. I'm far from politics. I'm a person of art. I want to bring to the world only peace, goodness and love. And today I cannot remain silent when the truth remains behind the shadow of a lie. An untold part of Azerbaijan is Karabakh. The name comes from Azerbaijani words Kara and Bakh. Kara is black, Bakh is garden. In the Middle Ages, Karabakh was a part of a state governed by Turkish Muslim dynasties that existed in today's Azerbaijanist territory and was inhabited by Turkish-speaking nations. The 18th century was marked with the creation of the Karabakhanate, ruled by the Turkish Azerbaijan Javanshir dynasty. It was the Azerbaijan Hanate where traditionally the rulers were Azerbaijan nobles. After Karabakh Hanate signed the Kurukchai Treaty 1805 with the Russian Empire, the Hanate was forced to become subjected to the rule of the Russian Empire. At the Russian Tsar's orders, in 1828 an Armenian province was established in the territory of the occupied Azerbaijan Hanates, Irvan and Nakhchivan. Soon, Russian handed over Irvan to the Armenians. In the 20th century, 300,000 Azerbaijan people were forced to move from the territory of Irvan and then, in the 90s, the Armenians decided to expand by attacking the territory of Azerbaijan, as a result of which 20% of the territories were under occupation. In the 1992, there was an absolutely horrible war crime in Hojali. Look at this footage. Do you feel pain? Do you see these children and armed people? 630 absolutely innocent people, including 103 women, 63 children, the elderly were brutally killed. Where was the world community? Why they didn't stop it? The Security Council of the United Nations has adopted four resolutions which say that Armenia must withdraw its military forces from the occupied territories. But more than 25 years have passed and our motherlands are still under occupation. And the Armenians apparently just don't care about these resolutions. But for some reason everyone is silent about it. Azerbaijan has never been an aggressor. Azerbaijan has never opened fire on civilians. Azerbaijan has never had world-famous terrorist organization. Please, name Azerbaijan terrorist organization. You cannot do it, because Azerbaijan is our peaceful people. While Azerbaijan performs love songs at the Eurovision Song Contest, Armenians are singing about Genocid. They wave the flag of the unrecognized NKR in 2016. In 2009, when announcing balls, they show Tatik Papik who have been in Karabakh since 1967. In every possible way, they are trying to bring politics wherever possible. At football, matches of the Azerbaijan club Karabakh, they run out with the flag of their unrecognized republic or release a drone with the flag on the field. Look, this is Armenian church in Baku and this is a mosque in Karabakh. This is the truth, that's the difference. We Azerbaijanis are taught to respect the religion, customs and all traditions of other nationalities. Now tell me, who is the aggressor, who is the provocator and who doesn't really want war? 30 years we have been peacefully waiting for a solution to the problem with the occupied territories. Please understand the people who have lost their lands and cannot wait. We want to return our territories and nothing more. Know it, we are not waging a war against the Armenian people and civilians. We are waging a war against an aggressive policy.